Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. My name is Clayton James and today I wanted to talk about uh, a really interesting technique that I have been trying out and getting a lot of success from and how it pertains to working out and achieving goals in your life. And um, This technique can actually be extended and applied to any area of your life, but I specifically wanted to talk about it um, in terms of working out. And so there is a huge mental game that goes into exercising and I document everything that I do, all of the sets and reps that I do so I can keep track of my progress and I've noticed uh, several times this has happened to me where I'll go do a workout and then a few days later when I go through to do the same workout um, there will be a couple of exercises that I don't get as many like I only get four reps instead of five and so I went back through and examining this, trying to figure out why I'm either losing strength or getting hurt or not eating well or, you know, it's something. So I tried figuring out what it was and came to the conclusion that it wasn't my diet and I'm not injured. Uh, so it's 100% mental. And I, I realized that, like, I, so I know that when you work out alone, it's a lot easier to kind of give yourself a break, but really you're just cheating yourself. Um, but there's a certain energy that, that comes about from being around other people, like being with other people when you're working out, uh, having a workout partner or personal trainer, uh, if you're like on a sports team or something like that, like having that encouragement is important, right? And I feel like that really helps me power through on those times when I'm really struggling to get that last rep. And I, I noticed in myself that when I'm lifting, uh, without a spotter when I'm just working out by myself when it starts getting heavy and I start like really struggling like say I'm, I've got like really struggle to get this rep up and I've got one more to do I'll like panic in my mind and I'll have this incredible sense of dread wash over me and then my mind will just start running all over the place and well don't hurt yourself and you know you don't got to push yourself that hard and and really like I could push myself that hard and I should because I'm trying to get stronger and my form is correct and I'm not gonna hurt myself and even if I couldn't get it all the way up I could still lock it out and not get hurt and usually I will let my mind win and and not do that last rep and so this visualization technique that I learned is where you you imagine why you're meditating but you can do this on a moment-to-moment -moment basis if you only have a moment to do it um, I realized that through trying it today and my exercises but what you do is you you visualize whatever your problem or whatever you're trying to achieve or overcome in front of you on a large movie screen. I know I talked about this in another video, but really immerse yourself in that, really activate all your senses and feel uh, that experience as fully as you can. And then the screen rolls from left to right, and the next scene is uh, some kind of action being taken on your part to achieve or overcome whatever it is that you've set out to achieve or overcome. And really immerse yourself and feel yourself in that experience. And then the screen rolls by a third time, and this last scene is you having already achieved whatever it is you're desiring for yourself, or overcome whatever it is you've already uh, that you're trying to overcome for yourself. And really, really feel feel that experience as fully as you can, and express gratitude to the divine creator, uh, to God or to the universe, whatever you want to call it, that's bigger than you outside of yourself. Um, express gratitude for having received that already because really you have received it you've created it in your mind and that is a reality in and of itself um, and so you're just waiting for it to material uh, to manifest in material form and so I did this technique in between my sets on my workouts and uh, what, like I would do them when I started getting noticing that I was getting winded and felt like I would struggle with myself internally to complete the number of reps that I had. I, I did in between the sets, something like 30 seconds long, um, I visualized myself completing the reps that I set out for myself in that set and feeling strong and confident and proud of myself for having completed that. And then 
um, a, a layback and did the reps and, and got every single one of them. It was incredible. And I tried this visualization technique uh, in some other areas of my life today because lately I felt like I've been in a bit of a, an energetic funk and I've been procrastinating on some things a lot and I haven't been as productive as I would have liked to be. So I, I tried this technique this morning, like I, I woke up and got moving with my day and I completed this task and then um, looked down at the clock and it had taken me like an hour longer to complete it than I thought it would and then I look at my to-do list of all the rest of the stuff that I had to do today and I started feeling anxious and stressed out and this thought popped into my head. I was like, man, I should use that visualization technique and see if I can do it on a moment to moment basis, like a task by task basis and see if that works and it will help me become more productive and, and efficient. And um, so I, I meditated and I envisioned myself um, putting in the action to complete the task that I had set out to complete for myself. And then I envisioned the task having been completed and I told myself uh, before I come out of this meditation uh, on the count of three I'm going to open my eyes and I'm going to feel energized and passionate and driven and excited about the work I am doing and I will be focused and determined and happy and get up and sit down and do my work and I counted to three and when I opened my eyes I it was incredible I felt this huge burst of energy and this over this like uh, overwhelming sense of like calm and clarity and peace and excitement and uh, I went and sat down and did the work that I had to do and I and I was happy about the work I was doing and I feel like I created better content um, because I was passionate and enjoying what I was doing I was in a I was in a positive mindset and um, this is really a powerful thing like tapping into yourself when you're in an alpha brainwave state and being able to reprogram your subconscious mind and reprogram the way that you even can feel on a moment to moment basis. You can tell yourself that you want to come out of this feeling this way and you can actually experience that. Isn't that incredible? So that's why I wanted to share all this with you guys because we have the power once we gain the awareness to really reprogram our subconscious minds and achieve whatever it is that we truly have desired for ourselves, or overcome whatever it is that uh, we need to overcome. And this technique worked so incredibly well for me. So I did it with every task that I had to do. I would, I would complete something and then I would, I would sit down and meditate for a few minutes and envision the next thing that I had to do and accomplishing that. And my list got shorter and shorter and shorter and I noticed that the amount of time it was taking me to complete some things is getting shorter and shorter and shorter as well. So I'm able to be more productive, I'm happier longer throughout my day, and I'm achieving all of the things that I'm setting out to do, which is a really, uh, it's the small victories like that that really are the self-esteem, the confidence boosters, you know? like. Um, I noticed that in myself, like when I set out a list of things to do in one day and if I don't complete all of those things, it subconsciously, it, it bothers me and it affects, it affects my confidence level um, and my level of, of personal satisfaction and happiness. And um, when I can get my, myself in a positive state and you can do this through this visualization meditation. It makes everything just, I feel everything just flowed together so much easier today. It was so much simpler, uh, free of resistance. And anyways, I hope you all found this content um, informative and useful. Um, I hope that you're enjoying everything that I'm putting out. If you are, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell so you can find out whenever I have a new video coming out. I will be putting out a new video for the rest of this 90 day challenge and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Oh, and don't forget, every day in every way, everything for us gets better, better and better. And right after this, I've got a short little video about the recipe that I made today, my whole foods plant-based recipe. It is a Cuban black bean stew, but it's actually a yellow lentils instead of black beans. Uh, but I have all the recipes listed in the description below, 
and then you can see uh, the video of how, how it's made um, if, you know, if you just keep watching. <laughs> All right, folks, today we are on day 16 of my 90-day whole foods plant-based fitness journey. And today I wanted to make something for lunch. It's called a chili black bean and rice stew, but I changed up the recipe a little bit so there's no beans in it. Uh, I switched it out for yellow lentils and it's just a couple of ingredients. So you just need half of a red bell pepper, half of a yellow onion, two cloves of garlic, a quarter of a carton of organic vegetable broth, a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, a can of low sodium diced organic tomatoes, and then you're gonna use half the juice in the can as well. Um, half of a cup of yellow lentils, and then half of a cup of dry rice, brown rice, which the, the rice is cooking in the Instapot right now, and then I'm gonna throw the lentils in, and really all you gotta do is, after you cook the lentils and the rice, or if you're gonna cook beans, cook the beans first, um, just chop up all the vegetables, throw everything in a stock pot, turn it up on high, let it boil, let it simmer for about 10 minutes, and then it's done. So it's a quick, easy meal. It's super protein rich. Legumes are incredibly dense and rich in protein. And so this one's a little bit more on the spicy side, but it's a quick and easy meal to make and it's loaded with protein. So I'm gonna eat this as my, after my workout meal. All right, so we've got our vegetables chopped up. We're gonna go ahead and throw them in the stock pot and let them saute for about three to four minutes and then we'll go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients. You will let that boil, come to a boil, um, and then you're going to turn it down to medium, put the lid on it, and let it simmer for 10 minutes, and then let it cool down for about another five minutes. Serve and enjoy. All right, it's all done. Doesn't that look good? Let's see how it tastes. Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That is amazing. I hope you try it. I'm sure you'll love it as much as I do.